In this section we're going to have a look at how we can insert and work with charts in our Word document. So we're going to be working with the Cottage A practice file in the Chapter 8 folder. Now, if we go down to the uh, bottom of this document, um, we have information here about average daily temperatures. and We want to insert a chart here uh, uh, about daily temperatures, uh, average daily temperatures at this particular location. If we go to the Insert tab on the ribbon, you'll see a Chart button. And if we click on this, we can see there are a great many different types of chart available to us. Let's pick a uh, line chart here, line with markers. So we can click on that and press OK. Now, you'll need Microsoft Excel installed here um, because it will fire up an Excel worksheet um, where you can enter the data for the chart. Now, the Excel worksheet isn't saved separately, it's actually part of the Microsoft Word document, so you don't need a, se a second file. And we can see here the chart has been inserted into Word. Now, I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I'm running Windows 7 here and use Aero Snap to snap these two windows to the left and right of the screen so that you can see what's going on in both screens at the same time. So, we need to uh, give these uh, charts uh, columns and uh, uh, columns and uh, rows. So let's uh, change these uh, series first. We want to change these to minimum, average, and maximum temperatures. And you can see on the graph they've automatically updated and here we'll change these to March, June, September and December and we can see we now have a chart um, where uh, we have the data that we need. Now here in the spreadsheet we can see this little blue line and if we grab that in the uh, in the bottom right, we can add uh, rows or columns to that spreadsheet to add more data. For instance, if I add these uh, additional rows, we can see here four additional rows have appeared there. Uh, I can drag it back and I can return it to the data size that it was before. Now, oh, oh dear, I've accidentally closed the spreadsheet. I didn't mean to do that. Don't worry about it. Under the Chart Tools tabs on the ribbon, we have an Edit Data button. And if you press that, then that spreadsheet will reopen and your data will still be there. So now we're going to, in the next segment, we're going to look at how we can modify charts. And you'll need to keep this file uh, open or save it so that uh, you can reuse it because we're going to continue working with it. Now that we've looked at how we can insert charts into a document, let's have a look at how we can modify them. And we're going to continue working with the document we did in the last segment. You can see the chart here that we've got. Now when you click on the chart and select it, we've got three new tabs have appeared here on the ribbon. Design, Layout and Format. Now there are lots of things we can do. We can save the chart type. Uh, we can uh, perhaps make it a uh, uh, bar chart there, uh, we can make it a uh, an exploding pie chart, there's all sorts of uh, different types of chart uh, that we can use for it. Let's say we want that one. Um, we can, once we've modified a, a chart, we can save it as a, as a template and we're going to carry on looking at modifying it in this video. Um, there's different layouts here for charts as well. Uh, that we can have. Let's say we want this one, which will present the uh, the data under uh, underneath. There's uh, that one there. There's lots of different layouts for different for each different type of chart layout. And then there's different chart styles. Um, how do we want the actual chart to look? Do we want it like this? Do we want it just shades of red? Do we want it? Uh, inverted, there's all sorts of different chart types that we can have. Now, 
what we uh, want to uh, to be able to do is select one of the line charts and we'll go let's go with a, a 3d line here and we can see there and we'll change these lines so that they are different colors to make it easier to see between them so how else can we modify these charts well in the layout tab here we can change all sorts of um, aspects around the chart we can change the uh, the, the chart title here um, which we can also do simply by clicking on it and typing uh, seasonal temperatures we can click on individual bars and we can uh, change the chart type change the, uh, the the data for that we can change the whole 3d rotation uh, on this particular on this particular chart here we can turn on and off the axis titles uh, the uh, legends if they're shown the data labels and so much more we can control the uh, vertical and horizontal axes there's a great deal of information here we can control the depth of uh, the axes and we can put grid lines uh, throughout the uh, the graph or on the graph if we want to there's a lot we can do then we have the format uh, tab here and you can see I've got this red bar um, uh, selected and we can change the fill color of that we can make it whatever we want if we want to make it a nice orange we can click on the blue one and we can make that this color here or we can select one of these styles and we can select that and we can change them all individually and make these uh, whatever we want there you can see there's all sorts of things that you can change in this format uh, tab including uh, here we've got the background bars selected we can change the color of those the thickness of those and we can see in real time um, how this will affect our graph there's all sorts of things that we can do to change and modify this graph and as I say when you go back to the design tab on the ribbon once you've got the graph how you want it you can save this as a new graph template um, if you want to do so now that we've looked at how we can modify a chart in the next segment we're going to have a look at how we can import existing information from um, spreadsheets that we already have into uh, a chart. Now that we've had a look at how we can insert and modify charts in a Word document, let's have a look at how we can use existing data in other Excel spreadsheets um, for them as well. Now for this practice we're going to be using the Cottage C practice file in the Chapter 8 folder. And if you scroll down to the bottom of this you'll see a chart here. Now if we click on the chart and go to the Design tab here we can edit the data for this chart and an Excel window will pop up with that uh, data in but we have another spreadsheet available to us in the practice files which has data for the entire year which is laid out the same way months along the top and minimum average and maximum down the side we want to go to the file menu and select open the spreadsheet we want is in the chapter 8 folder and it's called temperature so we'll open that again we've got the months along the top here minimum average maximum down the side and in the view menu we want to be able to uh, see both of these uh, spreadsheets um, side by side so we want to arrange all the spreadsheets and we'll arrange them either horizontal or vertical whichever suits you let's say we want to arrange them horizontal here now to make sure that we can see them properly we'll maximize that window and here we can see the data that we have on these two spreadsheets this is our chart in Microsoft Word and this is our temperature so we want to select the data here and in the home tab we either want to copy it uh, or we can right click on it and select copy and 
in our chart in Microsoft Word we now want to right click and select paste and that data is now in and if we return that to its ordinary size we'll see that the data is appearing January, February, March, April but we don't have all of it, we don't have all 12 months right so let's get rid of this uh, temperature spreadsheet now we don't we don't need it anymore and we'll see here that uh, we uh, um, have all of the data that we need now we need to be able to change the data range on this and we can see that it goes up to column M and down to row 4 well row 4 is fine but column M so we need to be able to uh, select the data and here we have a uh, select data button um, for this data here and we can uh, either type in manually uh, what we want or uh, drag and drop here to select the data so we will select all of the data in that range from A1 to M4 just by dragging and you'll see the dotted line around and we can see here that this data range is telling us A1 to M4 press OK and we now have all of that 12 months worth of data in this spreadsheet and we'll expand this out sideways and make it a bit taller so that we can see that data more clearly so once again uh, when the spreadsheet is selected uh, under the design tab press the select data button and here you can either type in the data of chart data range if you're familiar with Excel already or you can drag and drop an area um, here to uh, select that select that data so that's it for inserting uh, charts and tables and in the next section we're going to look at some other visual elements that are available in Word 2010.